What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into one of my all-time favorite games in the Legacy of Kane series, Blood of Man Legacy of Kane. Trust me, it's a classic worth discussing, especially for anyone who loves deep storytelling and atmospheric gaming. So let's get into it. First off, let's talk about its unique origin. Released in 1996, Blood Old Men introduced yeah, us to the dark and brooding no world of Nosgoth and the tragic tale of Cain, a nobleman turned vampire seeking revenge. It's a story that sets the tone for the entire franchise, but this game specifically crafts a raw and grittier narrative that pulls you in right from the start. I love how Blood Old Men isn't just about the action or the gameplay. It's rich in narrative and character development. Kane isn't your typical protagonist, he's complex, morally ambiguous, and his journey raises profound questions about fate, free will, and redemption. You can't help but get drawn into Kane's struggles as he navigates through betrayal and loss, and that emotional depth is something special. Another reason I hold this game dear is the haunting atmosphere. The world of Nosgoth is beautifully dark and meticulously crafted. From the haunting music to the moody environments, Every aspect enhances the feeling of despair and intrigue. Exploring its layers makes you feel like you're venturing into a living, breathing universe. It's a place where every shadow holds a story and every encounter feels significant. An eternity passed and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Blood of Men laid the groundwork for what would become one of the most beloved franchises in gaming history. Its influence can be seen in later titles, shaping character arcs and foreshadowing events that unfolded throughout the series. The combination of compelling storytelling and immersive gameplay has made Blood of Men a timeless classic and a defining title in my gaming journey. So, there you have it. The storytelling, the atmosphere, the gameplay, all of these factors make Blood of Men Legacy of Cain my favorite entry in the franchise. It's a game that doesn't just entertain, it leaves a lasting impression. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you played Blood of Men? What's your take on the game and the series as a whole? Leave your comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pity. Such a waste. Good blood gone bad. Corhagen, my home. The finest city in all of Nosgoth, rich in vanity and conceit. I had no delusions as to the welcome I would receive.